Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I am so happy you found me. I do so hope that you will mash that thumbs up button. I hope that you will subscribe if you have not already. And I hope that you will ring my bell, turn on your notifications, so that way, next time I upload a video, you can come right back here and we can hang out together again. Guys, Mama has got your back, especially when it comes to makeup and 100% when that makeup is cheap. Speaking of super cheap, affordable makeup, today is New Makeup Monday and we are talking about a super affordable, really adorable new collection. Before we get started, my makeup is done today. I do have quite a bit of what we're going to talk about here in just a minute all over my face. I am very happy with the way that my makeup turned out today. I, of course, did do a TikTok on today's eye look if you are interested. I will make sure to put the tag for that as well as all of my other socials, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff in the description box below, as well as a full list of everything that we're going to be talking about in today's video. And of course, if you have any questions about what I used or how I used it, all you have to do is leave me a comment and I will get back to you. With that out of the way, we really need to dive in to this new collection. We are talking about the new Wednesday collection from Hard Candy. Y'all, I'm so excited. If you don't know what, what Wednesday is, it is a, it's kind of like a spoof uh, or maybe a spinoff of The Addams Family. It's a new show on Netflix. I think it stars Jenna Ortega. She is absolutely adorable. She is a perfect Wednesday Addams. I love her so so very much the new series is it's just good it's incredible i love the i love the look of it i love the feel of it it's just the vibes are vibing and it is so so very good if you are anything like me the adams family was so big i get like big hits of nostalgia when i think about it uh, i remember back in the day we had the adams fa the adams family and the Adams Family Values. Uh, so one and two, back in the day when Angelica Houston was Morticia Adams, y'all, we had those movies on VHS. And I remember, I am that old. I am that old that I remember what VHS is. We had them on tape. And I remember my sister and my brother and I would sit there and we would watch those movies over and over and over again. They were so, so very good. My favorite is uh, the second one, Adams Family Values. I just, Debbie, oh, oh my gosh, it was so, so good. But this new, this new series is really fantastic as well. Uh, I think it's a younger take on it. And then I also think Catherine Zeta-Jones plays Morticia Adams in it. So it is so, so nice. So when I saw that Hard Candy came out with a Wednesday collection, I was like, please, Lord, let it be at my local Walmart. So I went and it was there. Unfortunately, it was a little bit picked over. So I wasn't able to get a hold of everything, uh, but I got a good amount of stuff. So everything that was available in the collection, there were three eyeshadow palettes. There were three glitter palettes. Uh, there were a couple of liquid eyeliners. I think there were two, a brown and a red lip liner that I couldn't get a hold of. And then there was also a makeup removing cloth. Now, I really didn't need the makeup removing cloth, uh, so I didn't really bother with it and lip liner. I really don't use red lip liner very often, and the lip liners that I do use, I already have a ton of. Y'all, I use the NYX suede lip liners every single time I line my lips, so I really didn't need to pick those up. Y'all, the collection, everything in this collection goes for $6.69, which is a fantastic price point. I also really enjoy that everything is priced the same. So everything from the eyeshadows to the eyeliners to the cloths to the everything was the same exact price. It just makes it really easy to remember. So that's great for me. But also it's really easy on the pocketbook. So you can pick and choose what you want from the collection and not have to worry about dropping an arm and a leg. So uh, before we get into the actual collection, uh, when I mentioned the makeup removing cloth, it was really, really adorable, but it was seven bucks and I really didn't need it. Also, I wanted to point out an alternative uh, if you are in need of a makeup removing cloth, because I do think they are so super important. Now, people say that you can take your makeup off with just the cloth uh, and some water. I disagree. I still like to go in with my melting balm or my oil remover 
whatever, break down the makeup, but then I go in with the cloth and wipe everything away and it gets rid of absolutely everything. But I wanted to point out this brand in particular just because they're super, super affordable. Uh, they're pretty much a knockoff of the makeup erasers. These are the Erase Your Face reusable makeup removing cloths. They come in a bunch of really adorable colors. Uh, I really, really enjoy these. I have as many of them as I possibly can because I, I literally use them every single day. This is a new one that I haven't used yet, uh, but I just wanted to show you the size of it. It is super cute, great for a one-time application, uh, and I can usually get a couple of days out of one of these. I will take my makeup off, I'll rinse it out, and wash it with some Dawn dish soap, just like I do with my sponges and my um, powder puffs, things like that. I'll wash it out with some Dawn dish soap and then hang it up to dry and it's good to use. I can usually get about a week out of each of these if I wash them after I use them. They're so good. They're super, super durable. I have a very bright, hot pink one that I've been using for almost a year at this point, uh, and it's still holding up really, really well. Uh, the seam has come off, has come apart just a little bit but y'all, I've had it for a year and I use it every single day. So I think it's holding up really, really well. Best part about it is these go for like two bucks. I get them off of the end cap at Walmart. Y'all, it is the best investment I have ever made when it comes to makeup removal. Two dollars and endless uses. These beat makeup wipes by a mile. They're so, so good. Uh, if you haven't tried the makeup erasers or like the makeup removing cloths, just kind of like don't buy into the hype baby i'm telling you it will change your makeup removing game it is so so fantastic it really does make the biggest biggest difference okay heart candy wednesday collection what did i actually pick up well i picked up all three of the glitter palettes i picked up all three of the eyeshadow palettes and then i also picked up five of the liquid eyeliners i want to start off with the palettes first just because i have them all over my face today uh and i was really really impressed though i do have some thoughts I want to talk about the glitter palettes first so these are the wednesday kooky glitter eyeshadow palettes or the kooky pressed glitter palettes these are fantastical. I really, really adore the hard candy pressed glitter formula for a couple of reasons. First off, you do not need a glitter glue. I mean, it helps, but you don't necessarily have to have one in order for it to adhere to the eyes. Minimal fallout throughout the day because the glitter particles are so teeny tiny. They really just kind of stick to the eyelid without too much fuss or, you know, too much effort going into it. Secondly, they are so dimensional and so beautiful. So this is the Wolf Out palette. This is the palette that I have on my eyes today. I did make sure to use a little bit out of each and every palette so that I could give you a well-rounded review of the collection. But this one, this green shade in particular, is the one that I have all over my lid right now. And babe, baby, baby. <laughs> they're so good they're so so good i freaking adore these so so very much i have i have quite a few of the hard candy i think they're called the moon dust or the glitterazzi uh pressed glitter palettes they're really fantastic they're almost exactly the same as this though in the other palettes the pans are just a little bit bigger However, the colors in this palette in particular are fantastic. So this one is just a really gorgeous kind of holographic clear glitter. It's going to go with absolutely everything. Then you have this one that is, they're just so dimensional. Uh, they're not just like one color glitter. There's all kinds of different colors in there and it makes it look, there's so much movement and shine and sparkle on the eye. It is truly fantastic. And I love these because the glitter is so tiny. If you really wanted to go for it and like do a full on glitter lid, you can do it. You can get a nice opaque layer, uh, a nice opaque lay down of this glitter. It doesn't look patchy. It doesn't, it just is so, so pretty. I put this all over the center of my eye and it just sparkles and shines and shimmers. This one very much reminds me of like mermaid tails and fish scales. It's kind of like that mermaid kind of shade. Then you have this really gorgeous pink shade and there are reflex of purple and gold in there. It is just so, look how they sparkle and shine. 
They're just beautiful. Then you have this really gorgeous deep blue and it has reflex of like silver and there's a little bit of purple in there. And then you have this one, which is pretty much like an aquamarine uh, oceanic kind of blue really really beautiful this one has like super deep kind of different blues in there there's a little bit of silver glitter in there as well these are beautiful uh once again that was the wolf out palette and this goes for six dollars and ninety six how much was it I, my memory is absolutely shot it goes for six dollars and ninety six cents so definitely worth every cent of that uh they came out with two other variations we have the friend or woe palette this one i used the other day i used this really gorgeous i think i used this light purple shade so this one right here really beautiful this one is for i think this is going to be great especially for like uh the winter months just because you've got your deep dark moody glitters in here this one in my opinion, isn't going to be as, I'm not going to use it quite as much as I will say the Wolf Out palette, just because these are colors that I wear more often. But these are really beautiful, deep, more kind of mysterious glitters. Uh, you do get a nice gradient in, in here. It goes from light to fairly deep. You have a black glitter, a purple glitter. You've got this really gorgeous kind of like super deep blue. You have kind of a lavender color and then more of a a really pale kind of pink all of these tones are really really beautiful i just and they pick up so are my nails dirty no they're just old i'm about to change my set uh but look how beautiful that looks and how shifty and reflective it is on the oh just just and they look as beautiful on the eye as they do in the pan i honestly think they're prettier on the eye than they are in the pan i think this shade is super can I say super anymore? But I think this shade is probably one of the most uh, unique shades out of all three of the palettes. This one has a mix of pink, purple, and black glitters in there. There's also a little bit of silver and gold in there as well. I just think this one is going to be perfect for just about any Halloween look you'll want to do. I think they're so, look how well they stick to the fingers. Even to just pat them, onto dry skin without any eyeshadow primer. They go on and they stick really, really well. They have a great amount of reflect to them. These are fantastic. If I could recommend any glitter at the drugstore to you, if you are as much of a glitter lover as I am, my two very favorite formulas are the hard candy one and then also the profusion formula. Now, if we're being very, very honest, I prefer the hard candy even more than the profusion just because the hard candy is even finer. The reflex are super teeny tiny and I really enjoy a nice teeny tiny glitter just because it really interacts with the light in such a way. It gives you so much movement and sparkle and shine on the eye. This one, really beautiful. So this one is my second favorite palette out of the glitter palettes. This is the Friend or Woe palette. And then last but not least, we have the Rave and Dance palette. And this one has got just your super, like, uh, very kind of neutral glitters, if glitter can be neutral. These ones, like, if you are new to glitter, if you don't have any glitters in your collection, and I had to recommend one to you, that would probably, that you would get the most use out of, and that would go with as many looks as possible it would be this one you have a straight up silver you have a gold you have a pink you've got something that's a little bit more silver and kind of iridescent and then you have like more of a bronzy tone there is a glitter in here for absolutely every look that you could possibly need yeah i mean that pink is super super pretty this gold is absolutely stunning this one in my opinion is more of like a glam glitter kind of palette this is going to go on and it's going to instantly just kind of bejewel any look you put it with it's absolutely beautiful again the quality is the same like the the it doesn't switch up the quality is just good across the board they're so beautiful they all have that same amount of like movement they all stick really well to the skin yeah, they're super super pretty so the glitter palettes are a 10 out of 10 for me they are a straight up win across the board my favorite is definitely the wolf out palette just because i love these colors so so very much but i think all of them are spectacular and i don't think you would re regret purchasing any of them also they're so much more affordable than even the profusion ones at seven dollars a piece i think the profusion ones are closer to ten dollars 
glitter is fairly expensive, especially pressed glitter formulas like this, uh, and especially when it's teeny tiny, so you're getting a lot of glitter very densely packed into this pan. So you're actually getting a butt ton of product in here. These are going to last you for absolutely forever. I think the value for these palettes, uh, especially you know when you take into account the quality of the product, these are fantastic. I love them so, so much. They're fantastic. That is why I picked up all three of them because I couldn't not. I couldn't not pick up all three. They're just so, so good. Hard Candy has like the best glitter formula ever. Now we're talking about the actual eyeshadow palettes. And like I said, I do have these on my eyes today. I made sure to use at least a couple, at least one shade out of each palette just to make sure that all of the formulas were the same make sure the quality was the same across the board and I do have some thoughts so my favorite palette I think is definitely going to have to be the, I think I think it's this one this is the one that I used the most today this is the flattery will get you nowhere palette so you have six different shades in here they're actually really nicely sized pans uh, they're not super deep but they are pretty wide it's super easy to get your eyeshadow brush in there even if you like to use a nice big fat fluffy blender it's easy to get your brush in the pan they also come with a brush this is a flat packing brush i don't know if you guys can see that now the brush is not the best quality but it is really nice for picking up these shimmer shades in the palette. It does pick up the shimmer really well. Yeah, really, really nice. Speaking of the shimmer formula. So this is one of those shimmer formulas that is not creamy. It is not dreamy. This is, I want to say, like an old school drugstore shimmer eyeshadow formula. So when I say that, it's very powdery. It's almost on the verge of being a little bit chalky, especially the lighter shades. Uh, I feel like this shade in particular really didn't do much for me. I am not. This is my least favorite shade in this palette. It just didn't do anything for me. It goes on and it looks rather chalky. It, there's really not a ton of pigment there. It is a shimmer shade, but it acts more like a matte. And then once you blend it out, it just kind of blends away. There's no reflect there. There's no shimmer. There's no shine. Kind of a useless shade for me. I really didn't enjoy it at all. However, the reason I used this palette uh, so much today is I wanted to really test out these purples. Purples are notoriously difficult to formulate. And I think Hard, Hard Candy did a pretty good job with these. Now, I used this one in my upper transition. This one is super light. Like there's almost, I mean, there's almost no pigmentation here. However, as a transition shade, it is really nice. It gives you just a little bit of something, something to start off. Yeah, super light pigmentation. It gives you just a little something to start off with and then build on top of. Uh, I was very much, I was very much more impressed with this shade though. This one has a lot of nice pigmentation to it. They, they build really well. So I was able to go in with a couple of layers and really build this up. This is the sh shade that I have all through my lower transition it ended up looking really beautiful it wasn't patchy it wasn't uh, it didn't skip on my skin really easy to use they blend out super easily as well i think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it's such a dry formula it doesn't really stick to the skin and because it was so dry i was worried about longevity uh, a lot of times those drier formulas they go on the eye, they blend really easily, but they just kind of fall off your eye throughout the day. Now, I've had my makeup on for, I want to say, about three hours at this point, and though my eyeshadow has definitely faded since I first applied it, it still looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that this stuff is going to wear pretty well throughout the day, so that makes me really happy. Uh, you have this deep kind of purple, like almost purple-black kind of shade. Uh, not my favorite either. I really don't think yeah, I really don't think it did much of anything. Again, once you blend it out, it kind of it acts more like a matte than it does anything else. I will say that these shimmers definitely perform better on a wet brush. So uh, if you're going to use a uh, if you want to use a glitter glue, that would work at fantastically as well. Hard Candy has the glitter stay. I use all the time. It is my very favorite glitter glue. I know a lot of people enjoy the NYX glitter glue. 
but this one is it's better price you get a ton more product in here and it's just as good as the next stuff i think this is one of hard candy's most slept on products because if people knew about this if more people knew about this they would be all over it because you literally get like almost half an ounce of product in here and it's like seven bucks you cannot beat it but use a glitter glue with these shimmers and they really pop however even with a glitter glue i find that with a wet brush they really do perform the best they pick up the best they apply on the eye the best so yeah and uh, this is the palette that I used the most today. But as I'm kind of like talking about it, I'm, I'm kind of realizing that it's not my favorite. Uh, the purples in here are nice, but I don't like the shimmers in this palette at all. They're super chalky and kind of powdery. So I would say maybe if, you, if you're not in love with this color story, you could probably skip this one. But the uh, I'm allergic to color this one I thought was fantastic. Uh, I do think the shimmers in this palette are a little bit better quality. I want to show you guys the embossing on the pans really quickly though. So there is, can you guys see that? Is it going to show up? There is Wednesday there with her umbrella. Super adorable. I love the little touches. I'm all about the little details, but I really enjoyed this color story. So it's not just your straight up black and white gray kind of palette. The tones in here are just a little bit different. I think they're more, they definitely have more of a taupiness to them. So you can tell, especially with this shade, there's a little bit of a brown undertone to it. And I think because of that, it makes it a little bit easier to wear, especially if you're a makeup newbie and you don't necessarily want to do some like big, dark, black, smoky eye. I feel like this tone is much easier to wear. I also used this super gorgeous like sequined shade today. I used this on my outer corner, I really enjoyed the shade. Uh, oftentimes, especially with cheaper black eyeshadows, they can be so difficult to work with. They can sit down, they can stick on you and just not wanna move. This shadow though, I found to blend out really, really easily. It didn't patch on me, it didn't skip, like it didn't tug at my skin. It just went on smoothly. Uh, it blended out beautifully as well, really diffused in a super even way. Uh, yeah, I had a blast working with it. I also really enjoy the tiny little glitters in there. Gave the eye a little bit of extra sparkle that I enjoy. If you don't like glitter, you probably won't like that. Uh, I also thought the, that the shimmer shades in this palette were much better than the ones in the Flatter Will Get You Nowhere palette though they still have that dry powdery almost chalky kind of texture i found that these ones had a little bit more pigmentation these ones had a little bit more of a reflect to them and they're also not quite as dry even just swatching it you can see it definitely has a little bit more of that reflect to it they look oh, they look nice this is the color that i have all over the inner corner of my eye today i really enjoyed this shade i thought it was super pretty again I did apply it with a wet brush and I found that applied with a wet brush or not wet, but dampened brush. It applied beautifully, super reflective, high impact, pretty intense as well. I do prefer this lighter shade as well, especially to the one in the other palette. Even I want to swatch them comparatively so you guys can see what it is that I'm talking about. They just, let's do this one. Even in the swatches, you guys can see such a big difference. So this is the one out of the Flattery palette, and this is the one out of Allergic to Color. Can you guys see the difference in texture? How this one looks smoother. It has more of a reflect and a shine to it, whereas this one just looks chalky and powdery and honestly kind of gross. Yeah, so all in all, I think this this one is definitely my favorite out of the three. I think the quality is the best in this one. I really enjoy the colors and the textures in here as well. I think out of all of them, uh, all of the matte eyeshadow palettes, I think this is really, really nice. It's the best one I played with today. Uh, this again was the I'm allergic to color palette. And again, it's seven bucks. It's seven bucks and the packaging is super cute as well. And though the brush isn't the best quality, it is a really nice teeny tiny little detail packing brush. And y'all, we can always use one of those in our collection. Super nice. And then last but not least, they decided to give us a little something, something for, you know, a rainbow kind of something. And I did use a couple of shades in this palette today as well. 
I enjoy this palette. This one was really nice. Uh, so I used this really gorgeous purple shade today. I used it in a little bit of my transition just to kind of warm things up a little bit. It's beautiful, uh, nice pigmentation. It's a purple, so I wanted to test it out. And again, it blended out beautifully. There's no patchiness, no streakiness. It just went on and it was a really nice like almost high quality performing eyeshadow i uh, very very buildable i mean it's not super pigmented super pigmented upon initial application but it does build on itself quickly and evenly and i didn't have any problems with it i also went in with this really gorgeous green shimmer shade and it's all over the center of my lid underneath the glitter and yeah it's really nice uh, i enjoyed this very much again it's got that kind of it's got that same kind of texture as the white one in the first palette i talked about this one, however, isn't quite as chalky. It definitely has more pigmentation, but it's got that little, that same kind of texture. It's a little bit dry, it's a little bit chalky, but when applied with a wet brush, this looks so beautiful on the eyes. Uh, there are two shimmers in here and then the rest are mattes. So you get a green shimmer and then a pink shimmer. The rest of them are mattes. I think this is a super cute palette. Uh, I don't necessarily think that I could get an eye look just using this palette. I think the color choices they made are a little bit off uh, and don't necessarily work and, and make a cohesive eye look, uh, in my opinion, just the way that I like to do my makeup. However, I think in addition, especially to the I'm allergic to color, these two palettes together, I think are stunning. They work beautifully together. They're the two that I used the most on my eyes today. I keep saying, uh, well, I said that I used this one the most, and I guess it's because I used both of the purples in here. But honestly, I enjoyed working with these two palettes the most. Uh, I do think that this one is just kind of like, it's, it's the worst. It's got the worst quality out of the bunch, but these ones were really nice. Uh, if I was recommending, recommending you pick up an eyeshadow palette I definitely would recommend the uh the kind of more gray one but if you enjoy color I think this is really nice for seven bucks it's not super expensive uh, I think the quality it, you know it, it's worth seven dollars but if you're not super in if you're not like 100% in love with the color story in this one. I don't think you need it. Uh, I, however, I just, I really enjoyed this green. Uh, this blue looks really pretty. It's beautifully pigmented as well. I was surprised by the mattes in this palette specifically. They feel so creamy and almost like, look, they're so pigmented. They're really nice. Let's do a little bit of this orange swatch. I think the colors are really pretty. They're kind of like that neon pastel kind of vibe. So they're super bright, but they have almost a milkiness and a like a white base to them. It goes on the eye and it looks it looks almost pastel, but super bright at the same time. I think they're really, really pretty. I enjoy this. I'm happy that I picked it up. All in all, the only palette I regret picking up is the flattery will get you nowhere palette i just don't think it was worth it i think the quality was really bad i didn't enjoy the shimmers but these two were really nice i really enjoyed all of the uh glitter palettes the wolf one being my favorite but these two were really fantastic as well i think all in all hard candy did a really fantastic job with the eyeshadow palettes in this collection i think one out of six is not a it, there's not bad bad odds at all eyeliners so i really enjoy the hard candy liquid eyeliners uh, i think the the formula they had before this one was the stroke of gorgeous liquid eyeliners those ones were more metallic so they had a metallic green and a purple there was a, a matte yellow one they had some really beautiful colors and when i saw that they had released uh some liquid liners with this collection i was like i really i I've got to get my hands on them these have brush tip applicators. They're easy to use. They're just really, really high quality uh, liquid liners for a really decent price point. So again, these are gonna go for $7 a piece. I picked up five different shades. We'll start off with the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. So this is the Nevermore shade. It's a really beautiful, super deep purple shade. It is very matte. It went on, it dried down pretty quickly. It looks really beautiful. It's not streaky. It's, it's just a really nice, 
liquid eyeliner. They have a gorgeous brush tip applicator that I just cannot get enough of. They are super precise. They give you a nice sharp wing every single time. The amount of product in here is really nice. Uh, I will say that you do not need to press down hard on these. If you press down too hard, you're gonna get a, you're gonna get a run. It's gonna bleed on you because they are a nice juicy eyeliner. Uh, not overly so but if you're rough with them, uh, they're, they're not going to be nice to you. So just gently press them down and they give you that perfect, super sharp. I want to show you guys. They give you that really gorgeous, super sharp line. They're so, so pretty. I love the shade, this purple. I'm going to get so much use out of them. The packaging is really gorgeous as well. It's this soft touch matte kind of packaging. Uh, I like the shape of the pen as well. It's nice and thick so you can get a good sturdy hold on it. Yeah, they're just really nice. So this is the purple shade. I, this is the shade Nevermore. I also picked up a blue shade called Well. This is the shade Well. I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm excited. Oh, that's so pretty. That is just a really, really pretty. It's I thought this was going to be a little bit deeper, but it's not. It's a really pretty, almost kind of sky blue color. That is super, super pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. I like that tone a lot. They dry down quickly. Uh, I will say, again, if you overdo it with these, like you get one pass opaque color. If you continue to go over them, uh, they do get a little bit thick and they can look a little crun crunchy. So definitely less is more with this product and just make sure that you're not pressing down too hard because it will bleed on you other than that they're so so nice so we have nevermore and then we have the shade well next up we have the shade little Scorp little scorpion next up we have little scorpion i think this one is metallic and it is yeah, so this one is a really gorgeous metallic teal. I was expecting this to be more of like a like a forest green color. It is not though. It's a really gorgeous, super metallic teal shade that is oh absolutely everything. Guys, these are almost identical to the Stroke of Gorgeous liquid eyeliners. If you have the Stroke of Gorgeous liquid eyeliners, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that you probably don't need these unless you just want the colors. I think the green one is almost identical to the pre-existing one, though. This is the, what is this? This is the shade Outcasts Are In. This one is a white one. This one intrigued me because I do not own a white liquid eyeliner. And I would, this one is metallic, too. I was expecting this to be a matte white, but it is not. So this is more of a, an iridescent kind of like holographic shade almost what is the shade this is called outcasts are in i was really expecting this to be a matte white uh so i'm a little bit thrown off at the moment this is a metallic iridescent kind of sheer kind of shade i'm not sure what that would work on i'm not sure we'll have to play with this it's almost a little bit duochrome -y. there's almost a little bit of like a bluish green flip there we'll have to play with that a little bit more i'm not sure how I feel about that color. Next up, we have the shade Little Storm Cloud. This one is another metallic one, but this one is a silver. And I'm excited about this one because I use silver pretty often. And to have it in a pen form, I feel like is going to be like pretty, oh, it's going to be very convenient. It's going to be very convenient. So hopefully it's good though. I'm not liking these guys. I think they're trash. I'm really upset about these because I know these ones down here are so opaque. They're so pigmented and like just really, really nice. And then you get these metallic colors and they're like almost invisible. I'm really upset about that. Let's shake it and see if it just needs to be shaped, like shaken up a little bit. Oh, okay. So that definitely helped, but it's still really, really sheer. Like, what is the point in having a silver eyeliner if you can't see it? Like, I don't, I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Let's put a little bit through here. See if it actually shows up. Oh, 
Y'all, don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. Because I'm just, I'm literally sitting here just destroying my eyeshadow. Trying to do a graphic eyeliner kind of situation. And it doesn't show up at all. Like, I can't even see that. Ooh, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. $7 a piece and it doesn't show up at all. I don't know what you would use these for. I don't know. Uh, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? All right, so that was all five colors. Uh, out of the five colors that I picked up, the only two that I, the only three that I actually like are the green, the blue, and the purple. So one metallic shade, that green shade, Little Scorpion is really, really pretty. I adore the blue shade. This is the shade Whoa. And then that first shade, Nevermore. All three of these are really nice. However, Little Storm Cloud and Outcasts are in. These are both absolutely horrendous. They're not going to show up. They are not going to show up on your eyes. Uh, maybe if you were trying to do a super minimal look and just do like a barely there kind of editorial eye, maybe they would work for you. However, that just like, it's, it's not worth the $7 you're going to spend on it. I promise you. Boy, that's super, super disappointing. And with that, we're going to end today's video. Guys, I love you so, so very much. All in all, I'm still very happy with this collection. Uh, I think that the eyeshadow palettes are fantastic. I think that the glitter palettes are just absolutely chef's kiss perfection. Most of the eyeliners were good. Uh, if you tried the makeup remover uh, cloth or if you tried the lip liners, please let me know in the comments. I am very curious, especially about the lip liners. Uh, the packaging looked super cute. So maybe next time I go to Walmart, if they're still there, I might pick one or two of them up. Very intrigued. Guys, as always, no filters, no fancy lighting. It is just me sitting in front of my camera, playing with some new makeup, hoping you guys are enjoying what I'm doing. And until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important.